Are you looking to upgrade your old Wi-Fi router or is your neighborhood congested with a ridiculous number of Wi-Fi access points to the extent that you can't even get a decent connection going? Well then, a 6E router is something that you might want to consider. Hi, I'm Mithun and you're watching Digit where we review the latest and greatest consumer technology gadgets. Today, we have the TP-Link Archer AXC95 6E router for review. Let's start by taking a look at everything that comes inside the box. It's a pretty huge box and the first thing that you see upon opening up is a much smaller accessory package. Inside, we've got an ethernet cable, power adapter, some documentation regarding regulations and the user manual. And of course, then there's the router, the TP-Link Archer AXE95. Coming to the build quality of the AXE95, the router has a sleek and modern design with a lot of straight, sharp, raised edges converging at the center and in the center is a glossy black strip that points to the LED indicator on the front. The router has a total of 8 antennae that can be adjusted to ensure optimal signal strength and range. It's made of sturdy, high-quality plastic and feels solid and well-built. Under the front face, there are three easily accessible buttons for toggling the Wi-Fi, the LED indicator and the third button is for WPS. The left face is plain, whereas the right face has a USB 3.0 port for connecting a shared storage device. The rear I.O. panel comes with a USB 2.0 port, power socket and button, reset pin hole followed by all the RJ45 sockets. We've got multiple WAN ports on the AXC95 with one being 2.5G and the other being 1G. All the LAN ports are 1G. On the inside, we see a massive heatsink covering the entire length of the PCB. At the heart of the AXE95 is the Broadcom BCM6756. It's a 1.6 GHz quad-core SoC with Cortex-A7 cores. It supports dual 2x2 radios and the AXE95 is configured to use this chip for the 2.4 GHz and the 6 GHz bands simultaneously. For the 5 GHz band, it uses a separate chip which is the BCM6715 and that platform supports four spatial streams. And the way the antenna are configured, we get two antenna for the 2.4 GHz and two for the 6 GHz bands. And then we have four antennae for the 5 GHz band. Again, the hardware powering the AXC95 is pretty much top of the line. Moving to the user interface of the TP-Link Archer AXC95, the industry has moved to making things a lot more simple and easy to use. And the same is the case here. The interface provides access to all of the router's features, including network settings, security, and parental controls. You can also monitor your network's status along with all your connected devices. For folks who are more comfortable using an app to configure devices, the TP-Link does have the Tether app, which is available on the Android and iOS platforms. And it does a pretty good job of giving you access to most of the router's features. Then again, if you're like the geeks at Digit, who like to get their hands dirty with the advanced settings, then the full gamut of network settings can be accessed via the web interface. And now, let's talk about the most important aspect of the TP-Link Archer AXE95, its wireless performance. The router supports the latest Wi-Fi 6E standard, which offers a whole new 6 GHz wireless band. This router can deliver speeds of up to 2402 Mbps per second on the 6 GHz band, making it great for streaming 4K videos and other bandwidth intensive activities. Since it's not a congested band as the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band, it might even be good for online gaming. The downside of the 6 GHz band is that it penetrates much lesser than the 5 GHz or the 2.4 GHz bands. So if you have line of sight, clear line of sight, then you should have the best experience. However, if you're in an environment with a lot of thick walls, then you are going to have difficulties with the 6 GHz band. We tested the TP-Link Archer AXC95 in a mid-sized office with multiple walls and obstacles. On the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, the router was able to provide stable and fast internet connectivity to all of our devices, including smartphones, laptops and PCs. 
we didn't experience any dropouts of buffering issues even when streaming 4K videos or playing online video games. Switching to the 6 GHz band was an entirely different story. It was simply not visible to a lot of our devices. We used flagship smartphones such as the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Vanilla S23, the Pixel 7 and few others with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoCs. None of them could spot the 6 GHz band. Even laptops with the latest Intel AX210 or 211 Wi-Fi modules could not spot the 6 GHz band. We finally managed to connect using a motherboard. Specifically, this was the ASUS ROG Crosshair X670E Hero, which comes with the AX210 Wi-Fi module. So the 6 GHz band is yet to be widely supported by a lot of flagship devices that exist in the market right now. The 6 GHz Spectrum has not been released for public use by the Indian government and that is where most of the troubles lie. Once released, you should see software updates for a lot of these aforementioned devices and then that will open up support for the 6 GHz band. Overall, we like the TP-Link Archer AXC95 router. It's well built, easy to use and the new 6 GHz band means that you can enjoy uncongested Wi-Fi. The only problem is that very few devices available in India can actually take advantage of the latest Wi-Fi technology. The AXC95 is priced at 18999 on Amazon, which is quite decent considering that flagship routers in the past used to retail for more than 25k at launch. Then again, there is a little trade-off here between the available features and the pricing. So, if you are in the market for a new router, the TP-Link Archer AXC95 is definitely worth considering. Hopefully, sooner than later, the 6 GHz band should open up and allow you to make the most of your router. That's it for our review of the TP-Link Archer AXC95 Wi-Fi 6E router. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more reviews of the latest and greatest in consumer technology gadgets. And if you found this video to be interesting, then here's another video for you, which will be equally interesting. That's our promise. That's it for us from Digit. Thank you for watching.